Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. As you can see, not the first take. Just going to get straight into it this time, guys. And we're looking at the VIPA, brewed by Cloudwater in collaboration with the Indie Man uh, Beer Con 2016, which is an event that I could have gone to last year, but it was my brother's birthday, and then we really didn't do anything on his birthday anyway, so I could have gone. But um, yeah, bad planning on my part, to be honest. So this is a Belgian pale ale with raspberry, blackcurrant, hibiscus and oak. And uh, yeah, it's based on the ever so popular Vimto, which I didn't know up until this point was created in Manchester. Now I've drank Vimto a hell of a lot. Not drank it in a while though, I've not really touched anything like that, to be honest. But um, yeah, Siren Craft Brew, available here in Germany. And they had quite a range in Beretta. And this was uh, recommended to me by Martin. And uh, yeah, they've even got um, $10 shake on tap at the Beretta Beer Bar. So uh, hopefully I'll get to try that on tap. That'd be phenomenal because that was one of my favourite beers of 2016. And uh, yeah, this will be the second Siren beer that I'll be reviewing tonight, which is the day after my birthday. And it's a Sunday, so I'm ending my birthday weekend right. Especially with the beer after this one being Lorelei. Um, brewed in collaboration with Omnipolo and the home brewer whose name I've forgotten. But yeah, VIPA, a little bit of a spiel on the back of the bottle, but it's on their website, so I'll put the links down below. And this is brewed using water, malted barley, hops, yeast, raspberry puree, black cur blackcurrant puree, I kept saying blackberry in the first take, blackcurrant puree, hibiscus and oak. So uh, yeah, clocking in at... 8.5%. So, as you can tell by the colour, and um, when you hold it up to the light, you definitely get that sort of Vimto-esque look to it. Lovely, brilliant reddish hues in there, with a slight pinky, purpley tinge to it. And, uh, yeah, hazy inside, it gets a lot darker more into the middle, you get these lovely particles swirling around. Of course, looking down at it, it looks a bit like reddy brown almost. But beer poured initially with about one finger's worth of an ever so slightly browny pinky head um, when you hold it up to different lights. So uh, yeah, it definitely looks the part. Let's see what it smells like. And you do pick up that sort of Vimto-like aroma, albeit a much more natural smelling beer. It's not overly sweet or anything like that. There's a little bit of a tartness coming through from those fruit juices and the puree. And you definitely pick up that oak. It's a really nice sort of offset to those fruity tones. And there's a very slight hibiscus note in the background as well. But I'm getting almost like a, a really concentrated, slightly less... Well, you can't really have a really concentrated and slightly less sharp version of a balsamic vinegar. But I'm getting images of that in my head. Get slight wine notes in there as well, but nothing too strong. But you're not really picking up that 8.5% on the aroma. It's masked really, really nicely. It just smells really, really damn good. And you do detect that it is an IPA, so those darker fruit tones aren't taking over that slight hoppiness that you get with the IPA style. Anyway, it smells really damn good. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. And I'm instantly thinking it's like a sharper, much more mature and adult tasting Vimto. You get that slight sweetness in there, but it's not too much. It's not too, uh, like a bright, sugary, synthetic sweetness. It's that natural sweetness that you'd get from the puree. And then you get this lovely sort of woody tone to it as well coming from that oak. It almost gives a sense of like it's been aged, which I don't think has. I think it's been used, uh, oak chips have been used in this one. I'm not sure about the the whole concept of the beer, or all, all knows like what the beer is supposed to be and who it takes reference from and that sort of thing. But you get that slight IPA flavor there. Ever so slight tropical fruitness there but not too much. It's all about those dark, rich berry notes. And just like the aroma, you're really not getting that alcohol at all. 
You get it more on the back end, as if you've just had a, a, a like a slug of wine. It's not really a burn, but it's got its presence though as it goes down. Carbonation's really nice, and it does sort of remind me of like a carbonated Vimto. But yeah, that's a really nice and intriguing beer. It's not going too much in any direction. There are characteristics there that obviously differentiate it from a normal IPA, but you can detect that it's an IPA. It's got the bitterness of an IPA, but with a bit more power coming from that slight alcohol on the back end. Very, very drinkable, very crushable. And what I love most about this beer is it's not too sweet, it's not sickly, it's just nicely balanced. And I can imagine, because I'm not sure how fresh this bottle is, it just says best before date is the 18th of the 10th, 2017. So I'm not sure if this is like a newer batch or if the one that they did for the con uh, for the beer festival is the only batch that they made. <clears throat> but it doesn't taste like any of the flavours have faded. But obviously I didn't try this fresh, which I can imagine this being really, really nice fresh. But yeah, is it something that I go back to time and time again? I don't think so. Um... You know, I'd probably pick up another couple of bottles, but with the other siren stuff that's available at Beretta, I'd opt to try something a little bit different. But if I was given this, or if this was on tap, I'd definitely consider it. It's a very solid beer. Siren have done another wonderful job with this one. But I don't know, it's got that sort of like speciality feel to it more than anything else, and it's a little bit different. So in terms of a rating, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Very, very solid brew indeed. And um, yeah, if you've tried this one, and if you were at the Indie Man Con and you tried this fresh, or a potentially fresher bottle than this, let me know what you got from it. As always, if any of my fellow uh, UK beer tubers have covered this one, their reviews will be down below. Check out my Siren playlist. Check out the Indie Man Con. It was named as like one of the best or uh, one of the festivals to go to in 2017, which is great. It had a great reception from what I saw last year. And, um, yeah, fantastic little beer. It's just not really to my taste. Let's leave it at that. So, thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you later. Cheers.